Hello everyone, I'm Patrick from the Roboprox team from the University of Marburg in Germany. And in this video, I will introduce a small task for the NOW robot. You can also program this application with the virtual robot in the software choreograph. So you can try the task at home on your own computer or laptop. So first of all, let me explain you the task. NOW robots, like this one here, have several touch sensors all around its body. On the hands, they get three. One on the back of the hand, one on the left hand side, and one on the right hand side. In this task, now is supposed to open its right hand when one of the sensors on his hand is touched and close it again when another hand sensor is touched. So now should be able to do this with both of its hands and should also tell us if it's going to open or close its hand. When the head sensor, which is up here, is touched, now should terminate the application. To better understand the task, I will show you what the application looks like on a real robot. So I started the application and when I touch one of the hand sensors, like this one, I am opening my right hand. The robot tells me what it's going to do and, open, and is opening its hand. Whenever I touch another sensor, like this one, I am closing my right hand. The robot closes the hand again. And we can also do this with the other hand by touching the sensors. I am opening my left hand. The robot opens its hands and whenever I touch another sensor, I am closing my left hand. It's closing the hand again. Now I touch the head sensor and nothing happens anymore. The application is terminated. In a moment, I will explain you how to program this robot application with choreograph. But before that, Please pause the video, put some thoughts in the application and try it out yourself. See you in a moment. So let's start programming our robot application. First of all, we want the robot to end the application whenever we touch one of its head sensors. So for this, we need the tactile head sensor box. We can find this down here in the box library by just simply typing in tactile and we get all the tactile or touch boxes. And we need the tactile head box. We pull it inside the working space and as we want those sensors to be active whenever the program starts, we connect the program start up here with the start, the on start input of the tactile hat box. So now the hat sensors are active. And whenever we touch one of the sensors, so the front touched, the middle or the rear, the back of the hat, those outputs will be triggered. We want this box to be deactivated, deactivated whenever we touch one of those sensors. So we connect them with the unstop input of the same box. This way the unstopped output is triggered and the box is stopped. So we cannot touch the head sensors anymore to stop the application. And we end it with the program endpoint. So we got this here. When I press play now, the box is active and because we don't have a real robot here right now, we cannot touch its head, but we can simulate it by triggering one of those outputs. Each output stands, as I said earlier, for one of the sensors. So I, let's say I simulate touching the middle sensor and the application is ended. We can see it up here because we cannot press the stop button anymore. So this was the first step. The second step is to set the language. The virtual robot ha currently has problems with any languages other than English. So we recommend you to use the English language. In order to set the language, we need a box called set language. We can simply type it in down here in the box libraries and there it is, set language. We pull it inside the working space and connect the program start with the start or the onset input of the set language box. This way the box is triggered and executed on program start. We want American English, so that is correct, and we already set the language. The next step is to activate the hand sensors. 
For this, we need a box called either tactile left hand or tactile right hand. We can again find it down here in the box libraries and we simply type in tactile and there are those two boxes. I'd say we start with the left hand. So I pull the tactile left hand box inside our working space and connect the on ready output that is triggered when the language was set with the on start input of our tactile left hand box. So now the sensors on the left hand are active. When ever we touch one of the hand sensors, we have the same as with the hat sensors, one of the outputs is triggered, either left touched, back touched, or right touched. The next thing that we want to do is we want the robot to say if he's opening his or closing its left or right hand. So we need a box to make him say something. For this, we use the say box. We can find it down here. We type in say, and because we need the robot to say I'm opening my left hand or I'm opening my right hand, we need two boxes and I pull them in here in the working space. Yes, so we can set now what the robot is supposed to say in the parameters of the box. We open them by clicking on this little tool symbol here and we can see the parameters of the say box. Those are voice shaping, speed and text. Voice shaping and speed can be neglected with a virtual robot. It does not make any difference. So for text, we simply type in, I am opening my left hand. And for the other say box, we type in, I am closing my left hand. So this time, we don't want the, head sensor, the hand sensor box to be stopped after the first time, but we want it to be running as long as the application is running. So we don't connect the outputs with its own on-stop input, but we connect the output directly with the next box. So I connect the left touched with one of the say boxes and the right touched with the other say box. So now the robot already says what it's going to do, but it's not doing it yet. To carry out the action of opening and closing the hand, we need a box called hands. We can also find it down here in the box libraries. I type in hands and there it is. Hands, we need it twice. Again, one, one for opening, one for closing. So in the parameters we set for one of the boxes, we want the left hand to open. And for the other one, we said we want the left hand to close. And because we want this to happen after the robot said what it's going to do, we simply connect the unstopped output with the unstart of the one of the hands boxes and the other unstopped with the other unstart. This is already it. We can test our application now by pressing on play. The set language box throws an error because the virtual robot cannot set its speech recognition engine. However, that is not a problem. We can simply trigger the net next box by double clicking the on ready output. So now our set uh, tactile left hand box is active and whenever we we simulate touching, for example, the left touched hand. The robot says it's going to open its left hand and it does so. Whenever I click the right touched, it says it's going to close it and closes it again. This is already it. And if I touch now or simulate touching the middle head sensor, the application will be stopped. We can see it up here. The stop button cannot be pressed anymore. So now we need to do exactly the same thing for the right hand. This is why I'm going to do this pretty quickly for you guys not to get bored by me typing in the same things again. So now our application is ready and we can give it a last test run. So I press play, 
the set language box throws an error. We neglect that and simply send the signal to the two hand sensor boxes by double clicking on unready. And both of them are active. I simulate touching one of the hand sensors. It's opening it and saying so. I press the other one. It's saying it's closing it and it does so. I, we can do this over and over again until I click or simulate touching the hat. That's it, our application is ready. We can use it on a virtual robot or even on a real robot, then the robot is not gonna throw an error. So I hope you were able to program it by yourself and you had some fun with it. See you next time.